Marilyn, um, this is your first, first appearance in television, isn't it? Yes, it is, Jack. Well, I'm quite flattered that you made your first appearance on my show. Mm -hmm. I really am. Just wonderful to have you. Uh, is, uh, have you a picture that's coming out pretty soon, a new picture? I mean, we've seen Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Another one, new one? Yes, it's called How to Marry a Millionaire. It's also in CinemaScope. Oh, it is. In CinemaScope, too. Yes. You know, I, um, I made a picture once. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the uh, horn blows at midnight. <laughs> and I believe if that had been made in CinemaScope, it would have been a huge success. <laughs> well, you know, CinemaScope is very complicated. Mm -hmm. In order to put the big screen in all the theaters, they have to take out a lot of seats. Mm-hmm. Well, in my picture, they could have taken out all of the seats. Jack, what? I don't know why you're always panning the horn blows at midnight. I saw it. You did? Yes. And you don't know why I'm panning it? Did you like it? No. <laughs> well, thanks ever so. So long. Goodbye, Marilyn. Gosh, that was a great picture they showed last night. Gentlemen prefer blondes. Boy, they sure had two beautiful girls in that movie. Jane Russell and Marilyn Monroe. I know them both so well. Why couldn't one of them been on this trip? Here I am, alone, in a romantic mood. She, Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe. Don't leave, Marilyn. What? Marilyn, don't go. Marilyn. Marilyn, please don't go. Marilyn, wait. Marilyn. Marilyn, why did you walk away from me? Why, why did you want to leave me? Because I can't trust myself with you. <laughs> what? You're so strong and I'm so weak. And when you look at me with those big blue eyes, I just, I just... I understand. <laughs> In the picture, all I wanted was money and diamonds. But now, for the first time, I realize that all I really want is you. Meryl. Dream on, Mr. Benny. Dream on. Marilyn. Marilyn, I'm mad about you. I'm mad about you, too, Jack. Jack. Yeah. Jack. Will you do something wonderful for me? It would make me very happy. Well, of course, Marilyn. I'd do anything. Anything for you. What is it? Well, in my next picture, there's going to be so many love scenes. I want you for my leading man. Oh, Marilyn, I'd... I'd love to be your leading man. Good. Now, if we can only get permission from Daryl Zanuck. Why? Who did Mr. Zanuck have in mind? Himself. <laughs> Gee, Marilyn, I, I just can't get over just the both of us here all alone on the Lurley. Yes, Jack. I never dreamed it could happen to I. Neither did me. <laughs> Marilyn, why, why are you sighing? I was just thinking, Jack, how generous you are. Just so we could be alone on this trip, you chartered the Laureline for $600,000. I did? <laughs> if that doesn't wake him up, nothing will. Marilyn, <coughs> Marilyn, I know this is sudden, but will you... Will you marry me? Marry? But look at the difference in 
difference in our ages. Well, there isn't much difference, Marilyn. You're 25 and I'm 39. <laughs> yes, but what about 25 years from now, when I'm 50 and you're 39? <laughs> Gee, I never thought of that. <laughs> I did. You shut up! <laughs> Marilyn. Marilyn, will you... Will you have dinner with me tonight? I'd love to, Jack. Thanks ever so. At eight o'clock? All right. But I'd better be going now. about you, but that kiss didn't affect me at all. That's funny. I'm a wreck. <laughs> See you later, Jack. Uh, don't forget. Marilyn, don't forget dinner tonight. I won't. At 8 o'clock. I'll remember. <laughs> Marilyn, come back here a minute. Please come back. Marilyn, give me one more kiss before you go. <laughs> You're not Marilyn Monroe. Well, you ain't no Errol Flynn. 